Hey, what's up guys? Dan the Man here, and I'm here with a video uh, talking about Time Paradox Ghost Rider. Just came out um, on Sunday, first chapter in uh, Jump. It's a new series in Jump. Um, and yeah, I thought it was a really, really cool concept, really cool first chapter, um, so I wanted to talk about it. I'll start off with the plot. The plot um, revolves around this main character named Tepe Sasaki, and uh, at least I think that's his name. And he um, is basically an inspire, uh, aspiring... Um, mangaka or also failing mangaka he nothing he does no, none of the series or one shots he creates gets picked up by jump he takes it to this one specific editor a lot uh and the editor is always like oh it's too generic oh i don't like this i don't like that um so he's really uh down in the rut and he's basically about to quit until uh he his microwave in his apartment um just explodes out of nowhere and uh, uh, he looks inside and to surprises, there's an issue of um, Jump sitting in there and it's not like a normal issue of Jump, it's from May 2030, uh, exactly like 10 years um, from where this story takes place. And I think it's really cool that this story takes place in May 2020. I like, I like when it, it's, it's, it's a nice little like thing when a series exactly the same exact month that the first chapter came out is when is when it uh, takes place. I think that's cool. But anyways, this this uh, uh, issue of Jump is from M May 2030. That's that's the main plot. Uh, I I really really like it. I really really think it's cool. Um, I like that uh, there's weekly Shonen Jump in, in general in the manga. It's like it's cool to see. It reminds me of Bakuman um, by the people who did Death Note. They also made a series. It's one of my favorite manga. Um, and that that manga is about to um, mangaka's making manga uh, in Jump. And so it's very similar um, because you get to see some of the business aspects uh, of Shonen Jump and, and I think, I'm assuming that's what you're gonna see in, in Time Paradox a lot. Um, and you also get to see issues of Jump. It's, it's just surreal being able to see um, stuff like that. Like the, the Shueisha building and the office of Weekly Shonen Jump. I don't know if it's the exact replica or it looks, or they replicated um replicated or what the real office but it's still cool to see um the art in this manga in this first chapter is, is amazing it reminds me of bakuman art for some reason uh it's this and this series is also not dumb drawn and uh written by the same person it's written by someone else and drawn by someone else but um both did a great job uh i really really think this is a like maybe an up-and-coming series eventually uh, once it gets you know, 10, 10, 15 chapters or so, it might gain some more um, readers. Uh, I, I just, I like it a lot. I really hope it doesn't um, leave anytime soon. It's, it's a unique concept. Like, it's really out there. Uh, just so random, like uh, a jump issue appearing in a microwave. I think it's really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to talk about it because um, I, I don't have a big following, but maybe, um, maybe some people will check it out because of it. So thanks guys for watching. Um, check out my other videos. I did, uh, I, you know, you know, I do like manga pickups videos. I do discussion videos on various things. Like, um, I did one on Jojo part six on why you should read Jojo part six. Um, so if you're a Jojo fan, check that video out. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.